Do people not think it's funny that all the stock images that are used to show push-ups are actually done completely arseways? So we're just getting set up for a Doc Fitness promo video. We have some lighting med balls over there. So this is the monster of yoke we're shooting on. Little LED light at the top there. It's classic. That yoke over there is wrapped around. You can see it's a curved LED light. And this is where I'm going to be shooting from the start. Just letting people know basically what Doc Fitness is all about and having a chat about that. So we can get our promo video flowing. And uh, for the first time on camera, I'm actually a bit nervous. Back in Doc Fitness headquarters after a couple of hours of getting some stuff done for my new video series I have coming out online. And today we have a full coach session going down. James and Kate don't say anything. And I'm going to try and use this contraption as well, which is a stabilizing machine, which I cannot wait for. Benched up where I was just focusing on progression and it's it's all I can train this week because I'm not training legs with my hip. So I kind of felt like I was doing nothing the last couple of days. It's been shit really. But we're having a smashing smashing sma <laughs> we're having a good session here again with the coaches. Second time this week which is unheard of for us so we're enjoying it while it lasts because we as I said the last vlog we can we don't really get together as often as we want. So now we're focusing on what I once had done. Both some strict pull-ups and some strict dips and I've been progressing on way in here as well. So we're gonna keep the rep, uh, reps around eight to 10. I think I'm gonna keep the sets low again, around, only around four sets because we're, we're focusing on intensity here rather than volume. Best one of these bars is the Caramel. Another big day I put down for moving Doc Fitness forward. I had a great crack earlier on shooting a promo video and it was nice to kind of see back with the progression of where we've come as well. And Dave, the photographer, is actually in the gym. So it was actually nice to get his input and view of kind of where he started and kind of the doubts he had about joining and where he went to. And you know, it's just brilliant to see it like that. Like So we had a nice transition with the coaches. We had the coaches meeting after us, some coaching after that myself. And then we were doing some stuff, I was doing some stuff in the coach's office, but I'm back now and I'm doing some more system stuff because Kate's off to work again. And like I said in my last vlog, this is the time where I just go to overdrive at work stuff and get a shitload done. Um, rather than chill out and watching Netflix for the evening, this is what I prefer to do. Um, I don't know, it's just a drive in me I suppose. But I'm committed to getting where I want to go and that's basically it. Like it's the same with my, same with my health, my fitness goals if you like. Um, I put the exact same into the business side of it all. But... We're back in here, and we're after getting about, I think, 40s, Kate, from right? Wedding planners. So, I'm gonna officially take off the first one. Now we've only shit load more to go. But I think that's today's vlog, or vlog, more or less, complete. Take a look back where you've come up to now with your training, with your health and fitness stuff, with any level of progression you've had. Just kind of appreciate the small things because too far and often we kind of look forward to where we're going and we kind of get pissed off if, if, we're, if it's a, a roadblock in the way or if there's an obstacle in the way, if you're training and you get injured right now like, like I am. If you're trying to go for a higher level job or something like that and things are just not working out perfectly, they will for a finish. Some days are going to be tough for others, some days you're going to be down the dumps thinking about things but 
Take stock of where you are right now. Look back to kind of where you've come from. Like it's probably huge. If you started working out in the gym, the fact you took that first step to get in the gym and to start training is massive. Look back to where you started then. You're probably lifting weights right now that you would have never lifted in a million years. You're probably even, you're more active now than you wouldn't have been. Like look at the small daily wins and take stock of where you are at the present moment and just appreciate where you've gone to right now. And don't get fixed at too much of looking in the future. Just follow the process of getting to the next step, getting to the next step and going from there. Focus on the here and now because if you lose sight of that, you'll get, you get pissed off in your days, it'll brush off on the people and then it'll brush off in your training, it'll brush off in your health and fitness stuff. So that's just a little tip with that because today was a really big eye-opener for me in, in how far Doc Fitness has come and how many lives we've actually changed with Doc Fitness because right now, as I'm speaking, Doc Fitness is where we want it to be. We don't want it to grow technically any bigger with its member base because we're looking after and giving value to the members we have and really drastically changing those and really getting the results that we say we get because at the end of the day if you're, if you're not if our members are not getting the results it means jack shit for them like so i'm gonna cut that vlog here because there's nothing more to say with it but made that taco fry recipe again last night and tonight i have a shit ton of calories left it's thursday evening and i'm whipping out a pizza well it's, the big benefit is even just walking like this you you couldn't you just could not be that steady So while I'm watching two of my favourite lads at the moment, Eric Thomas and Gary V. I'm nearly 80% way through cooking a meal and I realised that I was supposed to put on a pizza. This is the problem when you have good habits ingrained. But this is what I want! I might have it after.